Yeah, so that, that blue chief, it really hit me hard. Um, I just got my license, so it must have been like in 1988, and it was in MCM, the Swedish Chopper magazine. And um, I was just flipping through, just got it, and, and came to that spread, and it was this blue, two-tone candy, ghosted headdress on the side of the tank, chopped in the chief. And it just sat really right on the wheels. You know, 21 inch in front, 16 in the back, maybe four or five inch over front fork. Uh, the dude that built it, he also looked totally legit. You know, he had the, you know, cut vest, you know, worn jeans. He was just casually sitting on that bike, lit cigarette in hand in front of a, like a weathered brick wall. It just, everything, the whole image was just so cool, you know. And that, it just stayed with me. That bike, that stance, uh, everything was just right. It was just, it was just badass. And uh, I still think I have that magazine somewhere. I kept it, for sure. So yeah, when I came back to Indian Motorcycle, uh, that was early spring of 2018, and I came back as director of industrial design. My boss, Greg Brew, told me that my first job was going to be to lead the industrial design team creating the new Chief. I mean, this is the bike that I was dreaming of, you know, when I first worked for Indian Motorcycle back in early 2000. And here I am, basically 20 years later, I get the opportunity to continue that bike. And I just couldn't believe it. Like creating the new Chief for the 100 year anniversary, that's a big deal. Being part of the team that's going to make it, that's a huge deal. Sometimes stars just the line, and the path you're on leads up to that one significant moment in your life where everything just comes together, and this was it. So when we uh, reviewed the first sketches on the wall, there was one set that really stood out and, and, and spoke to me, and I guess kind of aligned with, with my vision for, for this bike. And these were the drawings of Rich Kristoff. They just had that simple, raw, mechanical, cut-down look that a really badass barber should have. And everything was centered around a really beautiful frame that had a lot of kind of design icons from, from old Indians as well as some of our new Indians. Me and Rich, we just, we started talking about, okay, on this platform, like what kind of flavors can, can we create? Uh, on this bike and from there we just totally tripped out on everything that that we love with you know the american motor culture everything from the old biker b movies that we watched growing up to easy rider to all the magazines we used to read and that was really the start of it instead of creating another homage to the original beautiful 40 streamlined chiefs we wanted to capture and pay tribute to the to the ones that kept the flame alive by by building choppers and barbers from the chiefs. So the blue collars, the rebels, the men and women who kept modifying and customizing, racing and riding the chiefs. Often these bikes fall in the shadow of the original uh, Fordist chiefs because they were just so breathtakingly beautiful. But when you take one of those chiefs and you strip it, you bob it and you chop it, it's like a different animal emerge. You know, it's simple, it's mechanical, it's raw. And that's the spirit we wanted to capture. You know, just badass. Enough said. <laughs>